Hey guys, it's Tim again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. We've got a special treat for you today. We're down in Hollandale, Florida, right below Fort Lauderdale. We are at a facility called Wetwear. They make custom wetsuits. I've actually had one of their suits now uh, since 2011. Uh, they're phenomenal suits. Uh, Connie here is the owner and has been. It's a family run business. I'm going to let her tell you a little bit more about her product and what they do here and what's available for you as a diver. Connie? Hi, nice. my name's Connie, as he said, Sonovid with Wetwear. And we've been making custom wetsuits for over 40 years for the sport diver, commercial diver, and military. Uh, we specialize in, of course, a proper fit, but ease of getting a wetsuit on and off. That's one of the worst things about diving, is trying to put that wetsuit on and take it off. So we actually developed this for the military, and this is called our Easy On. And it's a zipper that goes all the way up to your thigh. When it expands out four inches bigger than you, this flap here seals the zipper, but not the suit. And as you can see, we do the same thing to the arms. It goes all the way up to the bicep. Um, some of the other neat features that I like to point out about our suit is the back zipper. Now everyone hates the back zipper because you normally get a short zipper like this that especially men they can't reach fine zip up. So by creating the zipper on a slant ending at the side of your waist it's much easier to grab this tab because we reinforce the bottom of the zipper because that's where they usually always bust out. So now you have something to hold on to while you're pulling over your shoulder instead of up over your head. So it makes it much easier. And also at the same time, then you can put what we call a spine pad in your suit, which is very important when you're looking for warmth. My spine pad's over here. Back in the day, every wetsuit had a spine pad in it. Um, we're going to go over there and I'm going to show you better what a spine pad looks like, but it enters uh, the top of your shoulder blade and runs down the spine. The purpose of a, a spine pad is to fill that void. No wetsuit will take the shape of the, the spine, so you have a void. That's why when you get in the water, especially it's cold, you feel that rush of water running down your back, which is not nice or comfortable. Um, I call it the oh shits <laughs> uh, because you know it's going to happen. But worse, that water stops right here because now your suit fits. So now we have a pool of water sitting right by your kidneys, which makes your kidneys have to start working to heat that water up, which we don't want. Um, the other thing that people hate about wetsuits is the collars. And the reason being is that all your wetsuits are made with the collar the same height. So you have a collar hitting you way up high on your Adam's apple. By what we do is we change the circumference of the collar to a U shape so it sits below your Adam's apple and comes up on the sides. It makes it so much more enjoyable. Um, the other thing for warmth is, whoops, is a semi-dry. And because of our zippers, we're able to put a three inch seal at the wrist, the ankle, and we do a real nice roll down seal. Like this is a seal, but it's a, just a nylon one, and you can see how flimsy it is. What we do is we take our natural nylon two color and roll our seal into the uh, collar, which makes it a lot more sturdier. Uh, we also put diamond gussets under our underarm for more flexibility. Most of your suits have seams going around the arm. Um, then we have a nice selection, as you can see, for pockets. Um, we'll step over here. And this is the spine pad earlier that I was talking to about. There's a quarter inch strip of neoprene inside there, and that's what really fills up that groove in your spine. We also customize a pocket for your knife. This is a mass pocket, 
and then we have this it's a nice just uh, for whatever pocket because when you do start filling it this piece here expands out so it does become very large and can hold some nice things this of course is your just standard uh, slate pocket that's about all that it's good for and then we're going to go back over here because this is my new guy um, this pocket is pretty awesome it bellows out it has uh, three D rings two there and one there and then it also has a nice little mesh pocket inside there and you can mount them wherever you want the front the side so um, you really do create your own suit but the best thing is is that it fits you now you can take your own measurements online you don't have to worry about any of that because basically by your height weight we know what your measurements should be so because uh, I know a lot of times people get a little leery of taking their own measurements but uh, we work together through the measurements until we feel that the measurements are correct um, and then I don't know that's fine. Uh, um, another thing I that finished, I noticed but, about it, uh -huh. another thing that I noticed, you do have colors. Oh, yes. You can put custom colors for people. Uh -huh. uh, and I know some of the colors fade more than others. Black's always yes. best. Uh, but you are offering also, especially for the ladies, some bling. Uh, here's a fish. You've got starfish. Uh, you've got seahorses, different things you can do. You can also silk screen these suits. Uh, yes, you, you can, can do can. embroidering on some of them. I love it custom, of course. Yes. But uh, the main thing is, is tell them a little bit about the material itself, the neoprene versus a standard hyperstretch neoprene. Yes. You know, everybody thinks this hyperstretch is the only way to go, and it's exactly what we're calling it is hyperstretch, and that means that it's going to stretch to fit you and four other people. <laughs> so you're basically compressing the suit before you even get into the water. And that's the problem because we have compression. So you might take this uh, soft stretch, hyper stretch material that might be a five mil suit, but by the time you get down to depth, it might only be a two mil. And there's all different types of quality of material. Um, the only way to put it, the cheaper the suit, the cheaper the material is. <laughs> it's the only way to put it. We do use nitrogen composed neoprene which means that it's rated to 80 feet before the suit starts compressing. So it's going to provide you better warmth and longer life of the wetsuit. Um, also, you know, you bought your suit in what year? I think around 2011. Yes. Yeah. And since then, I mean, he took very good care of it. And uh, fortunately, he lost a lot of weight and we're taking it in for him. So it's not like you're buying something that, oh, well, I'm going to throw it away after 30 dives. Um, most of all my customers become my customers for many, many, many years. And, um, you know, the saying is what it says. It's you get what you pay you for. get what you pay for. Thank and you. And the, the suits, <laughs> I will say, I've dove mine a lot. I'm not a... Uh, diver that dives a couple times a year I dive a lot as you know guys know we dive all the time and my suit has held up extremely well uh, I am here to have it taken in because I have lost some weight and that's the great thing you can always have it recustomized you've got it for life uh, but Connie thank you very much for oh, explaining to everybody if you guys want a custom suit you can look them up on Facebook we'll put the link down below to their Facebook and also to their website uh, give us a call if you've got any questions. They explain to you how to measure yourself. Basically, if you do it online, they're going to build you a suit, send it to you. Let's show you how to mark it up, where else you need to be taken up. You'll send it back. Then they'll finalize the suit and send it back to you. Uh, you can do that up to two different times. They, they do a great job. I highly recommend checking out Wetware. Remember, guys, like us on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and remember guys, we appreciate your business. Thank you.
Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.